This is Dave. He tells jokes for a living. G'day you good motherfuckers, my name's Isaac Butterfield, welcome to the channel if you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe bloody immediately. Dave Chappelle, just a few, seems like hours ago, released his latest special, The Closer. It is hilarious, it is amazing, I reckon you should go and watch it. But, believe it or not, there are some people out there who just want to break all the beautiful things in the world. And these people want Netflix right bloody now to cancel Dave Chappelle, remove the special. They want him to apologise and disappear from the world. Critics are filthy. News publications are screaming from the rooftops. People all over the internet cannot believe that a giant streaming platform like Netflix would allow another straight white commit. Dave's black. Dave is black. So that means he must have done something real bloody bad. You may be thinking, well, if the Twitter people and, and the internet folk are going after Dave Chappelle, a person of colour, he must have done something unconscionable, unbelievable and terrible, like sacrificing a child live on stage. A disabled child at that. But no, 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 it's worse. Netflix is facing calls to drop the comedian special The Closer after his latest comments about transgender people. Oh, it's people are mad. This comes from NPR. In his new Netflix special, Dave Chappelle tries and often fails to justify button pushing jokes about gay people, trans people, and feminists, writes critic Eric Deggins. Hey, Eric Deggins. Fuck you to the moon. Dave Chappelle's latest Netflix special is facing a wave of intense backlash after the comedian once again made jokes directed towards the LGBTQ plus community. It's L I plus, you fucking bigots. Community and defended the author JK Rowling, who has previously been accused of Transphobia. Yeah, sure, JK Rowling was accused of being transphobic, but she, but she was just being realistic. And heavens above, accurate. The author of Harry Potter uh, basically got the shits about an article that said people who menstruate instead of saying women. Because her argument is that only women menstruate. Which makes sense because they do. But the argument is she's transphobic because some men have their periods. And I tend to agree with them, okay? You fucking bigot. What's worse, after that, she doubled down and cancel culture threw her down the old cancel river with all of us other pieces of shit. In the closer, Dave's special, which premiered on Tuesday on Netflix, Chappelle declared himself a trans exclusionary radical feminist, a TERF. Listen, the whole TERF debate, the trans exclusionary radical feminist, I am not involved in that. I do not want to get involved in that. There are too many fucking acronyms, okay? For this poor man with my man brain, I cannot deal with this many acronyms. Stop. Stop making up fucking words. They cancelled JK Rowling, my god. She said gender was fact. The trans community got mad as shit and they started calling her a turf. I'm team turf. So Dave was defending JK Rowling because she got cancelled for stating facts. Makes sense. Dave went on to say gender is a fact. <laughs> fucking naughty, naughty. Every human in this room, every human being on earth, had to pass through the legs of a woman to be on earth. No, Dave, no. Men have babies too, you silly, silly billy. Uh, this is a fact, Chappelle added. Before saying that trans women's genitalia are not quite what it is. Well, I mean, he's right. For starters, trans genitalia is sort of like a mystery box. You might open up the big box, and, and see a wonderful prize. Hooray. Or you might open it up and see a big fat cock coming towards you. Terrifying stuff. Chappelle has previously been criticized for his trans attacking comments. Trans attacking comments, my God. Like a trans attacking helicopter. In earlier comedy specials, he has widely been condemned on, condemned on social media since Tuesday. Yeah, condemned by who? What, millions of people that no one gives a shit about what they think? This, this is the whole thing that happened with me with the Christchurch massacre joke. I had tens of thousands of people filthy at me. So mad. I had 90,000 DMs on Instagram. Yes, all telling me to kill myself. I was a piece of shit. They're going to kill my family. Who cares? These people, these people who do the cancelling, the cancellers, if you will, 
No one cares what they think. They live their lives looking for things to be offended by. They are boring shit excuses for human beings and you should never listen to them. This is from GLAD, an LGBTQI plus community group. Dave Chappelle's brand has become synonymous with ridiculing trans people and other marginalized communities. Negative reviews and viewers loudly condemning his latest special is a message to the industry that audiences don't support performing anti-LGBT di 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 detributes, detributes, Dave Chappelle is the biggest comedian in the world. He sells millions of tickets every year and tens of millions of people watch his specials. Dave doesn't care. The original article goes on to say Netflix should know better. Perpetuating transphobia perpetuates violence. Netflix should pull the closer from its platform and directly apologize to the transgender community. Here's a hot one for you. You may not know this, but all this backlash does wonderful things for people's careers. Dave will be bigger and better because of it. Being cancelled is one of the best things that can happen for your career as a comedian. Basically, if you own it, if you, don't, if you don't back down, if you double down, then this is what happened to me. Ticket sales went up, followers went up, views went up, merch sales went up, everything went up. It was great for me. So, stick that up your ass, cancel lures. The same thing will happen with Dave. His Netflix views on his special will go through the fucking roof. And when Netflix go back to him for another set of specials, he'll make more money. Well done to the cancel lures. You've just made Dave a fucking another couple of million dollars, another hundred million dollars. Also, Dave didn't even say anything too outrageous in this special. Like, fucking harden up. Jokes are jokes. When a comedian goes on stage, he is pretending. She is pretending. They, them is pretending, okay? And this is what you need to understand. When you walk into a comedy room, you enter a contract. And that contract states that everything you hear is not reality. It is often pretend. And if you can't deal with that, don't fucking watch it. Oh my God. I've saved your life. There you go. There's the answer, fuckface. I've been cancelled twice. Still doing alright. <laughs> I told a joke about Muslims. I don't hate Muslims. Not even slightly. I told a joke about the Jewish peeps. I don't hate Jewish people. I don't even know any Jewish people. Dave, from all reports, doesn't dislike trans people. In fact, when he... A couple of years ago, he had issues with uh, the transgender community coming after him after a joke. He had another transgender uh, comedian come out in support of him and they became friends and they helped each other out. You know what happened to her? She got attacked so much by the transgender community that unfortunately her life ended in suicide. Is it because of the attacks? Maybe, maybe not. But what's more dangerous? Someone telling jokes on stage? Or you harassing someone to the point of their life ending? Ponder that. And whilst you're pondering that, brand new merch drop next week. Ladies and gentlemen, Buttsman for PM. Heaps of other great shit, including this amazing figurine. Not bad at all. And also my brand new podcast starts in a couple of weeks. We're going to start uploading to it next week, okay? It's called Cancel Me Now, ladies and gentlemen. The link is the top comment down below. It's also in the bio. Go and subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot to me. If you want to support me, go and subscribe. Ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the middle. Leaves me dick stings. Toodle-a-wav-wav. Bye-bye.